Mr. Castellini tells me he uh, he ordered the weather tonight, Bob, uh, for this game today, Bob. You must talk to uh, the guy in charge on a nightly basis. Somebody ordered it. It's I think it's the nicest weather day of the year so far. It is. We're yes. lucky. Very lucky. Very lucky. Now, I know you're a guy of eternal optimism. Uh, let's let's get a prediction from you right off the top here on your team this year. How do you feel about your team this year? Well, I noticed we got picked as a uh, wild card uh, selection in the Times, New York Times yesterday morning, and I think that's uh, too high. We'd rather be picked lower than that. Because lower than that. You bet. I mean, worse than that, higher than that, yeah. whatever you say, yeah. uh, less than the top, you know, yeah. lower the, pr from the top yeah. because our guys will really get pumped up when they when they see us uh, being uh, chosen as number three, four in the division. I yeah. know this is exciting today because it's opening day, but to add on the fact that the Cardinals are here, and yeah. let's face it, this is a great rivalry, one of the best in baseball anymore. That just adds to the lore, lore doesn't it? Yeah, I think the Cardinals have taken the place of the Dodgers uh, way back when, yeah. when, when uh, they were in our division. It was... Uh, it was a hard, hardcore uh, uh, competition, and, and the Cardinals. So we feel the same way. They're they're probably our primary rival, I would say. I think you'd agree with this. There's certain things that define a community, and every community has something that's different about it that defines it. Today defines Cincinnati. This this really truly, you can hear the parade behind us. The helicopter is above us. We're down here. The team's getting ready to play. This is this is really something that defines the fabric of the city that we live in. Well, today was was very exhilarating. Uh, I just got back from the parade. I was watching it from from uh, the Westin, and uh, it, it was it was phenomenal. And to see uh, that sea of red out there, uh, you had to be proud. Admit it was Cincinnati proud. You got to be proud too. We talked a little bit about this a little while ago with Joe Morgan, but I had a chance to go out and, and view that uh, the construction site out there in Roselawn of the uh, Urban Academy that's out there. That what that's really a showpiece for an area of town that could really use it. Yes, uh, you know we're, we're going to have 800 kids uh, year round uh, learning uh, baseball and uh, uh, character and uh, how to get through life. Uh, later on in life and these are at-risk kids for the most part and uh, it is a terrific thing for our city it, it will outlast the all-star game it's that important it'll it'll be there for a long long time mentioned the all-star game that's on the horizon championship season begins today the 162 now when you were a young guy did you come to an opening day do you have an opening day memory here in Cincinnati well because I just gave one uh, earlier to George Grand and I, I I don't think I can go through that thing again because it's so long. But uh, when I was a little kid, I, came, I started uh, being brought to the games. And uh, uh, I used to be able to, to play hooky. And uh, sure. I, I've been to just about every uh, opening day. Uh, if, if I was uh, living in the city, uh, living in Cincinnati, I was there. So except for about 11, 12 years, I've been to every opening day since I was in the third grade I think so like Christmas and New Year's and July the 4th it was just something you look forward to yeah you know? yeah, yeah yeah and today uh, today was really exciting to see so much uh, uh, interest and uh, enthusiasm it's terrific you, yeah. you feel it Ken it's, it's all over the city right now it's it makes you feel proud good to see you again yeah likewise